Okay, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the um, background paper that I normally use. I have this sketch pad and it is a 14 by 17 inch 300 series Strathmore. And I use this all the time. Like um, I've had different sizes. This one's the 14 by 17 inch, but um, I think it fits nicely in my space. So I like this size, but I have used different sizes of them. Anyways. I like this paper because it's um, it holds up for one and it's thinner and so I can layer gesso and paint and all kinds of stuff on this and it'll it doesn't get too thick but then also I can dump it in water and coffee and inks and that kind of thing and it holds up so I I love this paper and so I get some questions about what paper I'm using but this is the paper that I'm using I'm not using anything fancy so and then so for this background paper what we're going to do is um these markers are my favorite to do this this specific thing um they're the karen markers car markers um, brush maker pro and um i really need to get another black it's almost it's halfway gone but um so i thought we would try some of the different colors because i normally just use the black and i have this olive black that I thought might be fun and then I have a warm gray and a cool gray I don't know I just thought it would be fun to try some different colors as well so we're gonna try so what I do is I so we're gonna free write so as I'm talking I'm just gonna write so I um just write scribbles um and um just do whatever I'm just I just scribble along, writing scribble, scribble, scribble. Um, and I just I just continue to write on this and um, stream of consciousness, just not even paying attention. I shouldn't have even dotted that. Just continue to write. And um, then whenever I'm done, I have a full sheet of scribbles. And then I'll do that on, I don't know, five or six sheets. I'll just do it for five or six sheets. And then I have five or six big sheets. So I'm gonna speed up the video while I do this and then we'll come back for the next step.
I wanted to note something here. When you are, um, for one, if you're when you're dealing with coffee and stains, um, rubber gloves really help. And I'm using some Art Effusions in here, and um, they stain your skin terribly. So I have some gloves on. The other thing I want to note is whenever you're using water on, especially this thinner paper, you need to wring it out and dry it. Like you don't want it to soak in this water, any any kind of liquid. You don't want it to soak too long. It will break down the fibers and just fall apart. So remember whenever you're doing this, like you're just, you're just wetting it to incorporate it and then you're gonna dry it off and then hang it to dry. Okay, so now it's dried. And I'm just looking at the markers and looking at the marks it made. The black really shined through really good, but the gray and the green, this is the green, um, faded, but the, you can still see the marks. So I still kind of like it, but um, I like the black the best just because the marks are very bold, but I would probably use all four of these markers. Now I wanted to try some different markers. So I have some Tombow, I have a Shinnin, I, I don't know what it's called anyways. And then I have a Pilot. And um, the three, the Tombow and the Shinnin, however you say that word. Anyways, those are permanent. And so I just wanted to see how much they would fade, <clears throat> if they would fade or how it would have, you know, how that would work. The other one is is non, is non not permanent. The Pilot mark, um, pen is not permanent so i just wanted to see if it would hold up at all some of these work and some of these don't so i just wanted to experiment so here i'm just scribbling all over and we'll see what happens As I'm spraying the water, I can already tell that pilot marker is not going to hold up. But I can see right away that these others will be able to hold up against anything I throw at them. So those permanent markers worked really good, but you can already see that pilot pin already gone. It didn't even really dye the paper or do anything. It just disintegrated. So not a good idea. But I do like, when I was writing with the pilot pin, I liked it enough that I was thinking, okay, this would be fun to draw with, like after the papers have been dried, um, add some botanicals, some doodles, some, some fun marks. If I was um, not planning on adding a lot of mediums over the top of it, but like maybe the, like the last mark making, that pilot pin would be kind of fun. But these other markers held up really, really well. And you'll see that in a minute whenever it dries.